Well, Hoosiers could eventually have some new ways to get around the state. Lawmakers exploring an expansion to our passenger rail lines. There is a bill on the floor right now that could start the process, in fact. Fox 59's State House reporter Kristen Eskow has much more on that proposal. Frankly, internal transportation in Indiana is actually very poor. Stephen Coxhead points out many Hoosiers need a car to get across Indiana, and he says that's something that needs to change. As president of the Indiana Passenger Rail Alliance, Coxhead has long advocated for expanded passenger rail in the Hoosier state. Economies tend to grow when transportation is easier. We would like to get passenger rail service uh, coming to Fort Wayne. We don't have it at all in Fort Wayne. State Senator Dennis Cruz reintroduced a bill this session. It would create a select commission to look for ways to expand Indiana's rail system and educate Hoosiers and government officials about the advantages. One of Cruz's goals is to bring back more direct trains from Indianapolis to Chicago. But it doesn't stop there. And then we'd like to get connected to Louisville, Cincinnati, Columbus, uh, Cleveland, Detroit. Cruz worked with the Indiana Department of Transportation to secure its support. Scott Manning says his department wants to make sure all state officials are on the same page about which potential passenger lines get priority. The timing of it was particularly important given the passage of the federal infrastructure bill late last year, uh, which does include increased federal funding for passenger rail. The bill passed committee on a 5-3 vote, with some Republican senators raising concerns over who would lobby for funding down the line. Senator Cruz says he still feels confident about the bill's chances of moving forward. I just think that passenger rail alternative is, is healthy for our society, for our people. From the Indiana State House, Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News. Kristen, thank you. We've reached out to the state senators who voted against that bill in committee to learn more about their concerns. We're still waiting to hear back. We'll keep you posted.